Hi, and welcome along to the Bias Premier League show with my man White Yardy in the building. We're back the in the building. The right. Brought to you today by Boohoo Man. We're both rocking. Bo yeah, yeah, I like that one you got on, man. I'll come in if I get that one then. You never ask for it. Then no, send me that yeah, one. Is that a new one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in agree as well. Two different colors. Yeah. Hey, Boohoo Man, what's going on? How yeah. do you get that first? I like it. <laughs> Although I do like this one. I do like <laughs> this one, man. This is nice, right? Boohoo Man, the link is in the description. Up to 40% off. Yeah. Brilliant company, do some great stuff, right? So the link is in the description. Um, and also, as we're starting the show, I want to remind you, or to, just to inform you of something, starting from next week, Monday, we are starting the all new. New! Bias the new! You know when somebody lose a fight and then... And the, the new! new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see it. Bias Premier League show, I'm telling you, I'm so excited about yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. Starting from next week, Monday, it's going to be... It's going to be... Yeah, we're back in the studio. Back in the studio. We're Turning up the show. It's going to be... It's going to be lit. Trust yeah. me. Make sure you check it out. But, um... Yeah, man, listen, to, uh, you know what? Everybody's in a good mood today. Everyone's, yeah. you know what I mean? I came in this morning to the studio. Everyone's bouncing around. Have to be. This, that, you know what I mean? Fists. Yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, you came in. Big smile on your face, right? Everyone's bouncing, man, because that was a great win by Arsenal yesterday. Yeah, man, that uh, was impressive. The Gunners went fox hunting, you know what I mean? Fox hunting, <laughs> and boom, boom, boom. We really <laughs> take, they take out the foxes yesterday, boy. Um, and you know what? It's great. Let's, that was, let's put that... Um, performance in context. We made mm -hmm. a load of changes, yeah, yeah. right? Before, Lords. you know, there's one, one my Man United mate yesterday saying to me, oh, yeah, Madison weren't playing. I oh, that's one guy. We so, made six, Saka weren't playing, Aubameyang weren't playing. You know what I mean? Chill. Mm. Partey didn't start, right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, um, a very good Leicester side who've beaten all the top teams. They, I think they had a stat out that I read, right, that the only teams that have won more games than Leicester over the past couple of seasons been Man City and Liverpool. Okay. They're an excellent side, right? Well, of course they are. We know this. And for us to go there and totally dominate that game, yep. win it by three goals to one with a much-changed team, I thought that was a fantastic... One of the best performances by Arsenal, I feel, this season. Yeah, it was, I know it what was, you felt it, No, it, it was very um, comfortable win. It almost reminded me of when we beat Chelsea at home. You know what I mean? It was very, we dominated, you know what mm. I mean? Um, From the start yeah, as well. Yeah, and I said, like, listen, don't get me wrong, like, like, people need to understand, like, yes, Leicester, and people might, oh, it's Leicester, listen, many teams can't beat Leicester. No, Leicester and, are a proper side. And, and as Robbie, as, as you just said, and, and Leicester has been up in the top for, since they've won the Premier League, they've been up there and they've been causing problems, you know what I mean? Brendan Rodgers. And we ain't won there. For a long and the King Power. The last time yeah. we won is when Alexis was there. Exactly. So people need to remember that. When Alexis scored um, a hat trick. I was happy. You know what I mean? Yes, I, I was a bit. When, when you see so many changes, I knew there was going to be changes. All right. Wait, I, wait. But, but wait, I didn't know that many changes. Hold on, right? Yeah. When the team came out and I you know. saw Willian I, 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 starting, what was your reaction? I, I was like, I, I'll be honest, I started like, do, you go on Google and check to see like if. Martinelli has some hidden secrets or something because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, how is William starting over Martinelli? What do you like, mean hidden secrets? Wh wh no, because the, what, why is Martinelli not even getting a chance was the first thing that came to my mind. I'm like, how long are we resting this person? Because this is the problem. Is like People always say, oh, we're resting him. He's young. We're resting him. He's young. By the time he finished rest, he's going to be 30. <laughs> yeah, we ain't gonna be dirty, I, was saying, I was thinking to myself, you know, like in the COVID thing where you're yeah. shielding the player. Well, I was going, well, we must be shielding Martinelli. I don't know what <laughs> they're doing with him, yeah. But, but yeah, like but he went with William. William, who yeah. he went with, yeah, was I, excellent. Listen, I feel like yesterday, or at the Benfica game, when he came off the bench, right? I feel like maybe now Chelsea has finally released him to Arsenal. <laughs> I feel like no. Or you see that you see that Chelsea has finally said, "Oh, William, we release you now. We're not paying you no more. It's Arsenal that's taking it." Or he woke up and realized, "Oh, I don't play for Chelsea no more. I play for Arsenal." Okay, let me get my mark together because I don't know who that was. That's not that's not the William we've been seeing for the mm. whole of the season. Well, that so, was that, that was William who played. That's the, the William we expected to that's have. That's the William who played for against. Yeah, that, it was very season. good, yeah. and um, I was impressed. And I mean, he, he, he showed a lot of um, determination with the, when he had the ball to go forward. He, he picked his passes very well. I think he had the highest passing, um, mm. complete passes as an Arsenal player. So for me, I was very impressed by it. I mean, I want to see him carry this on now. Yeah. I, I don't want it to be 
a one game and then you're back to normal next week. You know mm. what I mean? I hope it carries on. Um, Pepe as well. Pepe, let me tell you something, yeah. And I know you're going to ask me this. So if you want to ask me, you can ask me now. I'm going to tell you what you're going to ask me. You're going to say, so do you give Arteta credit? Yeah? Are you going to give Arteta credit? Now listen to me, yeah? I, are I, you going to give out to a credit? No, <laughs> I'm not. And people are going to say, no. okay, people are going to feel like I hate Arteta. I don't hate Arteta. It's just... So you don't give out to a credit for the team selection? Do you give him credit for 11 losses? I'm yes. being intense? No, no, you, I cuss him for, for 11 losses. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. So, so what I'm trying to say is, reason why I, I'm very... Listen, I'm happy with the team and I, 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 he got it right. He got it right. Credit to him for getting it right yesterday with that team. And credit to the players to go out there and did did prove mm. them um, work for the manager. You know what I mean? Credit to them to go out there and play because the manager gave you a chance. But yes, Arteta could have went with the same team that he, he's been going with for the last two games um, with Saka and them guys. They need a rest. However, we have six days to our next game. So why, you know, they, that's enough time to get a rest in and, and be ready for that game, mm. which is Burnley. You know what I mean? So I give him credit and I give the players credit for yesterday, how they turned up. My problem will come in now, and I hope this doesn't happen. This is where I, this is where I judge Arteta as, as a manager is because we see what Cedric does. Mm. We see what Cedric... Bellerin is not doing what Cedric does. Bellerin does not deserve to be in front of Cedric. Mm. Cedric, I, I guarantee, whoever plays... A, Pepe yesterday... Listen, man, like, that's the Pepe we paid 72 million And those two combined well, didn't they? Because he has Cedric there. When he has Bellerin, when anyone has Bellerin, you're doing more work. You're struggling. He's going to make you look bad. Because when he makes mistakes, he doesn't help you to help your game. Cedric compliments anyone who plays in front of him because he has a football brain. He knows. Instead of, oh, like, like I think even you said it on the show is where um, Bellerin normally cuts in, cuts mm. in. Why? If one player's cutting in already, you go Why? Give him options. Cedric does that. So for me, Cedric, and this is where I said, Arteta, if, he, if, he, if he's being honest and being truthful and no favouritism, Cedric is your first choice right back. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to disagree with you there. For me, yeah. for me now, I've seen, ever since that's, I think it was the Southampton game, I'm mm -hmm. like, it just looks more natural. He seems like a more natural right back than Bellerin. Bellerin's got his good bits about yeah. him. Yeah. But Bellerin, he, he's like, he does this inverted yeah. thing where, yeah. but he doesn't get out wide. Whereas you'll see Cedric. Cedric, he'll come in or sometimes he'll give the, you know, he'll go out you know wide, create that overlap. You know, I want to see that more you know from is, Robbie, Bellerin. Bellerin can cross the ball. And there's that as well. I just Cedric can, that's why he keeps going out there. Better. So Bellerin knows to himself, me now go out there, so. Because if I go out there, so, then I'm going to expect him to cross the ball. And then I'm not going to be able to do that. Let do me cut in. Yeah. So. You know someone else who played really well yesterday that I haven't really seen a lot of people talking about. But again, I love this guy, man. It's Tierney. Tierney, of course. I mean, Tierney, he's just a baller, man. Listen, he, he, man. I mean, he, and, he, and, and he does cross the ball. He does. He is a positive player. He is. He, uh, that's such a good sign. You know what is it is? Tierney plays for the badge. Mm. You can see it. He plays for himself. But Future captain, he, You can see he has a passion for any... I, 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 I suppose any team he plays for, he's going to have this passion. And that's, that's what it is. I feel like we have lacked that this season with a lot of players not having the passion for the game. Mm. Because when you, when you love something, you're going to do everything for that team. And when team scores goals, when, he, when the team scores, you can see it in his face. Like, yo, yeah. you'd, you'd think this guy born... You know, the Emirates are born mm. uh, uh, over hybrid, <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, he's, a, he's a brilliant player, man. Yeah. But it was a good win. Let's, uh, yes! let's, take a, let's take a look. Yeah, 3 1. Let's take a look at the. the we went result. above Tottenham for a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of hours. Oh, man. I hope Burnley play that bad against us. Bloody hell, man. I thought. I knew Tottenham I know, would man. beat him. I knew Tottenham would beat him, but. And Bale was quite impressive, yeah. wasn't he? You know, yeah, we, Bur uh, Burnley so need to fix Just up, before they play, because we got them soon. We got them in the next couple of weeks. Now so. worry about them. Yeah, Bring on Burnley. We've got to deal with Burnley. We have revenge against Burnley. True, man. Revenge. Yeah. All of them will come for. Aubameyang, you need to score three against Burnley to make up for the one where you score for them. <laughs> so, um, predictions-wise, Leicester versus Arsenal. You went for 1-0 to Arsenal. I yeah. went for 2-1. Yeah. I nearly, nearly yeah, yeah, was spot yeah. on, man. Um, but I had a feeling we could do it. So, that's one point each. 
Look at him now, he's carrying it. You can tell something, and he's feeling good about this. Chelsea versus Manchester United. You said 2 2. Yeah. I said 2 1. Let me tell you something. I've only just woken up after watching that game. I did a watch along for it on the Don Robbie channel, and it was so dead. My God. Hey, listen. One time I have, have to ask if, you, if the match starts. We're going to come back to that. Man City beat West Ham mm -hmm. um, by two goals to one. You went 3 1. I went 3 0. Yep. Um, and then this is where you really want it. Well, you you got the you got the draw time, right. Or you got the draw right on Chelsea, Man United, Leeds versus Villa. I I said that Leeds would win. You went two one to, to Villa. Villa, Villa you, win. You won. Clean sweep, four nil. <laughs> four, no four two. <laughs> that Man United game yeah. was. Now listen, I was saying. You know, I had the two ladies on the stream. I had a Sophie representing Chelsea and the other Sophie, yeah. R Rico, representing Manchester United. I said to Sophie Rico after the game, right, we were chatting downstairs. I said, yo, I want you to ask me, I, I want you to uh, answer this question. Chat downstairs, you know, after so the game. Behave yourself. Off camera, I, I wasn't chatting her up. For, <laughs> right. She's a lovely girl, though, right? <laughs> I'm asking her, I'm saying, Sophie, be honest with me now. Yeah. Do you think, and I'm asking every Manchester United fan out there, do you think you can win the title with Oli Gunnar Solskjaer? Of course, of course them cannot. Them know them. <laughs> them I say can, not cannot. Them, them cannot. They can't win it them with him. Can't I'm win sorry, what? right? I, I, I heard like even some pundits saying, Man. oh, the onus was on Chelsea. No, Chelsea are going for the top four. Man United, Oli said last week, he goes, we're still pushing for the title. We're going to put City under as much pressure as possible. They went, to, they went there, as far as I'm concerned, to Chelsea. They parked the bus. Listen, man. They were so negative. Everything Oli does, every time he comes up against any of the top sides, every, all he tries to in do is counter-attack. In Fred. He's got the players of Manchester United yep. have got the players... To do it. ...to go for teams. They've yep. got the players to go for Chelsea, to go for us to go for any, the only team really, the only two teams that you say, mm, I don't know, is that if they Sheffield come up against... United and... and <laughs> <laughs> if they come up against Liverpool, come up against City, we know yeah. that... But every time he comes up against any of the big six, it's counter-attacking football, he's sitting back. And I, you're not going to win a title like that. It's and that's why I just it's feel... Negative, negative football. Yeah, I just, I just feel that it doesn't matter who they buy, Whatever top brilliant players they get at Man United, if that's going to be how he approaches those games against the very big teams, you're not going to win the title. No, and, and it shows. It's too negative. The stat shows that he has not won against any of them. Any um, of the top sides. And he's only they, they only scored one goal against any uh, one goal, and that was against Tottenham. Yeah. So 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 those just show you it's a negative football. So to, to listen to win the title, yeah, to win the Premier League title. The, the, the Man United, the, like for Arsenal, yeah? If, even if we beat all the other teams, yeah? You still have to take points off of Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea, and... Um, yeah, you have Man, to. You have to. That's, only, that's you how you to. win. You have to. Even have when to. Leicester won the league that season, yeah. they took points off of City. Exactly. They took points off... Well, they didn't actually no, take no, 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 points no, no, off no, of us. No, but no, they, they took points off of Tottenham. That's, they the, took, yeah. that's what you've got to do to win a title. You, you, you've got to go to one of those grounds and... Maybe get a draw and then bring them back to your place and win the game. Yeah, because because right? you have to remember, or you can right? afford to lose maybe one or two of those. No, you can afford. But what I'm saying is, is because you have to expect, right, that Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, these teams, the, the like the, the lower league, the lower teams in the lower mm. half, are more likely to lose to these teams. Mm. So if we, the bigger clubs, can take points off of them then it gives you more of a chance. But the way of Man United going in is just negative. No, negative. it's negative. And then and if you even look, at, Man City if you even look at his record, league. you look at his record, he's a great away record, but it's loads and loads of draws in there. Yeah, of course. So I, I just feel, I don't know, United fans, answer me on this. Can you win the title under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? I don't think you can, right? I, I'm not telling you to sack him. Keep him for as long as you want. Keep him. Yeah, winning the title under Ole him. Ole at the wheel. Um, Full tank City Adias. go... Trundling on, I thought yeah. West Ham did all right actually. West Ham played good. Right, they played very well. Yeah. gave them a gave them a good fight, but City ultimately they win again. They're going to yeah. win the title. The title's yeah, done it's now. Done. It's They're done. playing United this weekend. 
if they win <laughs> that, if they win that, the title's over. That's what I'm saying. They're playing United this weekend. If United had won yesterday, then United went to yeah. went to the Etihad and yes. beat them. They're kind of reeling and them back exactly. in. But they, they now there's no you know, way. The man in the um, ten points clear, man, or whatever. Not them gone. Bridge and Liverpool, they did all right. Who? Liverpool. 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 <laughs> Liverpool. They beat, uh, got back to winning ways, beating yeah. Sheffield United. Is Sheffield United the worst ever Premier League team? Or is it no. just because of this year? No, they're not the worst. They beat Man United. <laughs> 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 they beat United. Yeah, but like, they've been no, no, they did, terrible, they have, they have, they? Let's not jinx it next minute. How you know. can you go oh, from yes. what they did last season? I mean, I know there's no fans or nothing, but... They've been dreadful, man. Yeah, they've been awful. Um, the finishing is not great up front. Like they, they they've do, been. They, they do get in certain positions, but it's just, yeah, they, they, it's their end product is not great. And that's why it's, I was watching the game and I was seeing that they had a few chances, but they just, yeah, Liverpool was Absolutely too much for them, man. But yeah, it, this is what it is, man, is, is, is we expect this, though. So, mm. so Tom, like, no disrespect to Sheffield United. Sheffield United, there's no disrespect to you, but... I don't think they even expect to go and win certain mm. games. You know what I mean? So rubbish. They're going down, man. Let me ask you this, yeah. All right, the West Brom game against um. Oh lord, Brighton. Brighton. The referee. I don't know what he was. What thinking. was he doing in that game? He, he he blew his whistle, take a free quick free kick, then blew it to stop the quick free, free, free kick. kick. Then the confused. Then gave it the goal. Then change his mind, mind again. again. What, Listen, it, I mean, I saw even a, a ex referee, Keith Hackett, saying yeah. today that Lee Mason should retire. Listen, how, the whole Although, although Sam retire. Allardyce was defending him after the game and saying, Because I'm win. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's what Someone, made me laugh. I, I, I Sam Allardyce <laughs> saying, Oh, no, you know, We're referees are under so much <laughs> pressure. And I'm like, If that would have gone against you, <laughs> would you? I tell you, man. Come on, win. Grab it. If that was Arsenal and it happened to us. Well, so you'll keep well you know there. what? That's is the thing where I say, you know what? Everybody keeps, I've argued with Ty. I think I've even argued with you over yeah. this. Where you say that the referee's got an agenda against Arsenal. I say it's not an agenda. They're just rubbish. No, I have said this. They're These, just useless. It's not an listen, agenda against them Arsenal. Them lie on them CV. These referees, <laughs> a C, you know what a CV is. I don't have to tell you. CV is what you use to, to apply for a job. You tell them your credentials and all these things and what you have done and your achievements mm. and your qualifications. These referees in the Premier League are lying. I guarantee <laughs> FA have not called any of the references. The references probably don't even work. <laughs> may I, may I tell you, so next They're season, terrible. May, They're I, terrible. may I Robbie, if we wanted to, we could apply to be a referee. I could do it right now. We could go out there and do it right. This, they, they don't, I told you, they don't need no referees no more because they're my idiot. One bag of fool. Let me, who, who, and it, that but referee, yeah, but Brighton, yeah, Brighton, Brighton as well, yeah. There are two penalties in that game and them hit the post. They're not delivery that's man. Not that's true. Man. So, so in a way, it's like, it's like the referee said, you know what? Nobody blame him. Yeah. You, have, you have two penalties. You scored it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. from here. Yeah, kick the post like it's a post challenge. That'd be a Jamaican referee, isn't it? Yeah. When you go up to him after the game, you say, yo, do you, what, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. got that decision. They then you now have chance, chance to win the game. game. They couldn't talk to him. They, if I was a referee, hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> if I was a referee, yeah, none of these players would be upset. Because they come to me after the game and say, yo, big man, the game done, my work done, you know. Now, I'm not the point that's in the game. 90 minutes up, stop talking to me now, man. This is not a referee now, this is a yardy. Move up. But that referee is terrible. Terrible. Very, very, man. Right, you know what? Yeah. With no further ado, because I already think I know yeah. who this is going to be, right? Well, boo, um, man, maybe. Well, actually, I was going to go idiot. Actually, no, let's go boo, man. Yeah, man, let's go boo, hoo, man. Boo, hoo, man of the week <sighs> has to go to one person. Yes, it has to go to one person and one person only. I mean, people might be surprised that I didn't pick him, but I picked this one. William. So it, what? No. <laughs> William? No, no, no. Robbie, no William? My, no, no, no. He might have a lot for make up first. Let him do this couple more games. I'm, he, he, of the week, though. It's of the week. So who was it then? Pepe. Pepe, man. Pepe. Pepper sauce, yeah? Pepper up the whole of the foxes, them. Them foxes, they right now, their mouth is on fire because they get pepper up, yeah? Pepe oh, for no, me, I, I, like, very... Yeah, like, Pepe yes, was brilliant. He, and he, he did was, score a goal. He but was. No, I would give it to William, man. I wouldn't give it to William. It, William was under more pressure. Nope. William was, William was much derided, and that was a... 
William. I, I, even at the start of the game, nobody wanted him to play. And he still put in a great performance. I would, I would have went William. William been under pressure and don't give a fuck. Sorry for saying. He's <laughs> been under pressure. No, but then you're All judging it off of... You've got to judge it off of this week. I, I'm Boo Pepe. man of the week Pepe. this week. Pepe. Pepe. Okay. Because, because the reason I'm getting Pepe because he came into where Saka would be playing. So we are going to judge him off of Saka performances. All right. And he came in a step up. So now Arteta has a real hard decision under his hand on his next team. Because right now, who's his best starting eleven? Xhaka played brilliant yesterday. Mm. You know what I mean? So... Cedric played great. Like, he has a tough decision to yeah, make. Yeah, you know, the Burnley game is going to be interesting. I know, and he better pick the right team. Yeah, or you become... <laughs> don't worry, but Pepe, not William. William has okay. a lot more to do. Um, idiot of the week. I think I know who this is already. Yeah, idiot of the week. I know. Has to go to... I was going to get to Brighton team, yeah? To missing, missing the two penalties, you know? Because, you know, it's the first time in history in the Premier League any football team has missed two penalties in a game. I like, didn't know that. Uh, yeah, first, and Welbeck hit the post and, <laughs> and it came back and he, you, you control it. You're not, you you mm. have to leave it. You can't do that. So, you, you know, that was a bit like, come on, Welbeck, don't do mm. that. But Lee Mason is the complete idiot of the week. Without doubt. The man blew the whistle. People, you watched it. If you didn't go check the highlights, he blew the whistle for the free. No, first thing first, yeah, first thing first. Um, who took the free kick again? I can't remember. Um, when in the tall brother. Oh, um, Louis Dunk. Dunk. Dunk said to the Dunk did Dunk did a pre, did the press um the after game mm. conference thing, and then he said um he said uh they asked him about it. He said I don't know what you want me to say. He should be out here talking to you, not me. Why why it was not allowed? Right, and it's, it's, true. Right. it's true. Referees need to be held accountable for yeah. these mistakes and come after the game and. You know what, take back the VAR. We don't want the VAR no more. Take back the VAR. Give us refs after the game talking to the cameras about decisions that they made. I don't want a man sitting in, in, the, tele, in, in, in the studios and him going, oh, over to Peter Walton, however you want him. Oh, what do you think of that? No, the man they retire. The man they talk foolishness. He retire for a reason because he's never good. No, this Lee Mason, complete jackass idiot, complete fool idiot, any type of idiot, idiot plus idiot equal <laughs> another idiot equal Lee Mason. Because he blows the whistle. <whistles> Dunk said to him, can I take a quick freaking? He said yes. Blow the whistle. Goal. <whistles> he blew the whistle. Just because he panicked. He was like, wait, hold on. He said they're going <laughs> to score. He had a bet on. You had a bet on that Brighton <laughs> would lose. That's what he did. There's no way. No oh, way. Right. So, so you the get idiot. Idiot of the week is Lee Mason. Fool. Um, his person at Boohoo Man of the Week goes to Pepe. All right, fair enough. I would have given it to William, but fair no, enough. Stop. Who would you have given it to? Pepe. Love to hear from you guys in the comments. And who, um, well, no, not who. Oli, can he win the league, United fans? Can you, if, if Oli's in charge for the next three years, will you win the league? No matter who you buy, we'd love to hear from you guys. But thank you very much. And don't forget, we've got a brand new... Brand new! The new... A new Bias Premier League show starting next week. It's going to be real fun. Make sure you check some it out. Guests, right? Everything, everything, fully loaded. Right? All right. Special link is guess. in. Link is in the description. Um, to Boohoo Man, up to forty percent off. You lose and don't weight, forget Robbie. to. Hey, I, I, by the way, I forgot you do it on the detox ring now. Yeah, yeah, we're on the detox. You're on the detox ring, man. Yeah, I respect, man. What was it? Day one. Day one. Me not feel hungry. It's hard, you know. I'm good. I'm You're good. Be, I've got some food. Yo, guys, bring some food in for it. No, I'm only joking. Tight, <laughs> no, you know what? Listen, well done, man. It's a good thing to do. I did it. Yeah. I lasted the 14. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm going to do it. Right? And um, yeah, you, you will be glad when you Too finish weak. doing it. You'll be glad when you've done it, man. You know what I mean? It's a Health great, is well, them, sir. Health is wealth, and it's a great, great journey. Yeah, great man. great way of discipline, you know what I mean? I'm going to recommend it to Lee Mason as well. <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week. <laughs>